and welcome back to the channel. We are we are uh, starting, continuing, whatever. We're playing Half-Life 2. We're playing all of the different versions of uh, all of the different uh, episodes of it. So we've already completed our Half-Life 2 playthrough. We've already completed our Half-Life 2 Episode 1 playthrough. And now we're going to do Half-Life 2 Episode 2. And I know all of that naming is confusing, but if you know anything about Half-Life, you know why. Um, again, uh, Hurricane Hillary is about to hit here tomorrow, so uh, I'll try to put some stuff out tomorrow if I can, but I don't know when the power is going to go out, so we'll see how it goes. But anyways, let's go ahead and start a new game, get ourselves into the White Forest. So the, the last episode ended with our train getting knocked off, probably getting knocked off because of a massive explosion. Okay. We're not able to get out this way. Yeah, they're gonna make us go through the train. That's okay. And of course, we have no weapons, so. so it's... You gotta find Alex, cause. Hmm. What's the way out of here? There she is. Hold on a sec. I'll get you out of there. Oh. How convenient. <laughs> Let's hope this still works. Stand back. Here goes. Wow. I forgot what a kick this thing has. Here, you take the gravity gun. You're better with it than I am. When I couldn't find you, I got... <sighs> I know, I know. I shouldn't have worried. Well, we should keep moving. Agreed. I'm sure the Combine haven't forgotten about us. To the White Forest. Um, so are you gonna follow along or what are you doing? Oh my god. The Citadel. You're just jumping in now, that used to be a very tall tower. That's right. I, I keep forgetting. Every time I come into here, I need to go in and fix all of the graphics. Uh, shadows, water reflect, definitely anti-aliasing mode. Okay, apply. Okay, that's better. Are you okay? It's like the first days all over again. I hope we don't get many more. Okay. So are we supposed to go this way or what are we doing here? Doesn't seem like that's where we're supposed to go. Uh, this opened up the tunnel here for us. Okay. Just gotta keep it moving. Antlion's great. Well, safe haven it ain't. I'm all about kaboom.
I'll let them kill them. I'll let them kill each other. I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay. Time to get armed, though. Really need to get some weapons here. Dr. Kleiner and my dad are up north at an old missile base. I hope they're still using this frequency. They're trying to help launch a... Ah, here we go. Damn. What now? It's always something. Hmm. If I were to... Hmm. Let me see if I can get it working again. Uh, there's a power cord somewhere that I need to get. Oh, she's gonna drop it. Mia. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> what a mess. Uh, so there's a weird thing about this camera. The lighting on my face, if I have a bunch of light on this side, it makes the rest of my face look a lot darker. I don't know. Something really strange is happening with the Citadel. Oh yes, we've been monitoring the situation. The raw discharge of the meltdown has been focused into a coherent beam of portal energy. It's the Combine. They're trying to open another gateway. Yes, what you're seeing is the infancy of a super portal. If it attains full strength, it'll be the seven hour war all over again. Except this time we won't last seven minutes. Gordon, what if that's why they were sending so much data from the Citadel? So that data? From the Citadel? In the control room. They were feeding huge volumes of data directly into the core destruction sequence. Magnuson, did you hear that? I'll bet it's the Combine Portal Code. Yes, yes, I'm not deaf. I downloaded the whole packet. They've been chasing us ever since. Well, of course they have. You see, Kleiner, it's the linchpin of all of their plans. Well, I can see that. I never Somewhere said. in that sequence, they would have had to establish a connection with the far side. What you have there, young lady, is the specific contact code for the Combine Overworld. Good God. Now, if I'm right about this, and I have no reason to doubt myself, you are carrying the very code Dr. Mossman had hoped to recover. Now, how soon can you get here? We'll, we'll have to get our bearings, but we can definitely... There is no time to waste. We'll need to step up the launch schedule. Now, as soon as you get here with the signature data, we'll encode the satellite and get the damn thing into orbit. Get here as quickly as you can, you two. Dad? Dad? You're breaking up. Come in. Dad, are you there? Dad! Oh, no. They're still trapped in We need to keep moving. Come on, this way. Okay, off we go. Hmm. Oh. Look out! Ah! Oh, a weapon would be nice. Okay, this will break and go down there, I think. <clears throat> Double check and make sure there's no weapons or anything that would be useful, but it doesn't seem like it, so we'll keep going. Guess we need to go up. When in doubt, go up. Dr. Magnuson has an old rocket up at White Forest. He's been hoping for the day when he could launch a satellite to tap into the old array they set up at Black Mesa. But what was that? This ladder. Careful up there. Don't keep watch out here. 
Oh. I forgot about these dudes. These guys suck. Um... Good old Vortigaunts. to see at least you are unharmed but the alex vans her condition is grave <laughs> healing her will require more than i alone can conjure let me summon my kin My kin will meet us at a sheltered location beneath the surface. We must move her there quickly. Works for me. I will stabilize her if the free man will provide us with protection. Well, if I could ever get a weapon. Let us hurry, free man. Agreed. Help awaits us in the mines. Okay, um... Well, this seems like the direction we're supposed to go, so we'll go this way. Works for me. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm, just out of curiosity, let's quick save. Just want to make sure. Yeah, we're still into the white forests. Okay. Okay, um, I was hoping I could just kind of stop and then grab that stuff and then go back up again, but as soon as you let go, it forces you all the way back down. So that sucks. All the way up, please. Ooh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, but we finally have a gun. And ourselves a pistol. Okay, I guess we're... Can I grab that from up here? Okay. Grab ourselves some energy.
dude. Ugh. Okay, that's one way to do it. I thought I was dead. That's right. I forgot that these healed you. Okay. Keep moving. They give me energy? No, just health. But it's better than nothing. I mean... Hmm, guess not. Yo. That wasn't too bad. I'm just looking forward to getting my shotgun back. I'm a really big fan of the shotgun. That doesn't sound good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Asking you shall receive, I guess. I just... It picked it up. I picked it up. It went right at the last part. Of, or the part that it wasn't expecting to pick it up. Sorry. I can't. It really just threw me off. Okay. Shotgun ammo. Excellent. Um, is this one of the... Are we able to blow that up? Guess not. Hmm... So, okay, yeah, there's a hole here. Down we go. I really don't like creepy tunnels, and I really, and I especially don't like creepy tunnels that have a bunch of spiderweb type stuff in it. I don't think in, I don't I don't think there's too many people out there that like spiders. Let's, uh, do that. Shotgun. Oh, come on. Get away. Okay. Come over here. Try not to waste ammo right now. Oh! Okay. Yo. They're like baby ant lions or something. Or not baby, but just like juvenile ones. Ow, that hurt. Okay. Under the water. Oh, well, there's at least some energy. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go here. Um, oh, okay. Tunnel. Oh, lots of little, uh, crapper thingies.
Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, they move so fast. They move so fast. Okay, that's it for you and you. And heal up, reload. Hopefully keep moving. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be the end of today's episode. Hopefully you guys are having lots of fun watching the playthrough. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Help out with the algorithm on the channel. Help us grow and spread out and get our tendrils out into everybody. And then uh, if you would like to uh, contribute financially to the channel, I do have a Patreon that you can head over to for as little as $1 a month to help me build this into something that is financially sustainable. And uh, any wishes for helping us get through Hurricane Hillary? Much appreciated. See you next time.